Merry Christmas, guys! I'm sitting here, it's Christmas Day, and I'm still waiting on Heather. Um, we have just a few gifts, not much, because we have done a lot, as you see with the RV and the truck, and trying to learn how to drive the truck. And yesterday, the windshield, sorry for moving the camera, yesterday the windshield on the truck was leaking. It was pouring, rain, so we had to take care of that. Um, doodle. Doodle. You can't just jump up there like that. You're going to get hurt, dudes. Fatty Patty. But, so that's it. And, uh, just trying to, uh, get Heather to open some gifts here. And I don't know if that's going to happen because it's going on 11 o'clock. And she's woke up at 9. And she took the dogs out. She apparently took the dogs out to do her hair. It took two hours. And we didn't even eat yet, so. I had to eat, but yet she's complaining that I made my own food. I have to eat at like 8 o'clock. I'm starving, you know? Good morning, guys. Merry Christmas. I'm a little off because I'm used to being around all of our family. My family, his family. Usually, if my family's not here, his family's there. So, it's kind of just the two of us. And while I love my husband, I'm used to a whole bunch of chaos at Christmas time. And family and dinners. Oh, and don't worry. We got the chaos this morning. I love from Heather's, it. From Heather's mood swings okay but I love that stuff I'm Italian and I'm used to big dinners and stuff like that and it kind of is a little different for me right now because we're just for our little Christmas and I'm learning that I don't need all that freaking craziness but okay let's go I like all, all my right. craziness there's your one present open your present I'm gonna hit you in the head if you keep it up See what I told you on about Christmas? the mood swings? This is Christmas. On you're not, Christmas, supposed really? to be, You're supposed to be friendly. On Christmas. I'm in a good start. mood, actually. No, you're being an ass. Oh, okay. Fred got me this because I've been putting my feet in a bucket. You've been putting your feet in a bucket. Show them what it is. Because I don't like to go to those nail salons. I like to do my own nails, which I did my own. What else you got? Oh, I got this. Or the price. Of course, I buy my own stuff and then tell him it's from me. Or from him to me. And these are Freddy's. Oh, yeah. D these are new ones? The new sizes? Those are yours. Are these the new sizes? The bigger ones? Yeah. Oh, good. Why did I wear these? These are extra larges? Mm hmm Oh, cool. Thanks. And I got a new shirt. That's a good shirt. Mm-hmm. Of course. It's, I tried it on already. And I got a pretty bracelet now that I can wear it because it's Christmas. Oh, oh, it's This is one I was telling you guys about. It is brass. It's so pretty. Okay. And what else? Oh, these people can't see those. There's other people's Christmas gifts over here because we're all over the place. And then Ross has a present from his mom. Okay, I'm opening a gift from my mother and Joe. Kind of in the mood because Heather just screamed at me. I don't he know. He also why. got some jeans. Be... Okay, camera was shut off and I was told to behave. Okay, so this right here is a Christmas gift. What is it? Oh, a pen. Oh, a sea roll pen. That's really cool. Ooh, killer okay, whale. I keep, I keep that on my desk. Thanks, Mom and Joe. You could call the truck killer. No, I'd rather name the truck what I want to name it since you named Harvey, golf cart, everything else. How about tiny? I like it tiny. So if you could give me one thing I could name, it would be awesome. No. Did you name tiny. the car or the golf cart? Tiny. I guess I can't name. Is anybody else team tiny? Okay, so this is nice. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Really do. Okay, let's see what else we got. Um, right here. Here's another one. Oh, what do we got? Ooh, what's this? <laughs> what? Christmas lamp moon's vacation? Mug! Uh, I got the mug, I got the glass uh, mug. I was gonna buy you that. That is hilarious. It's the Christmas vacation mug with what's his face? I can't believe you guys bought him that because I was gonna buy it. <laughs> that is so funny. So it's the mug. Let me take my pen. Open this. Oh, that is so neat. There we go. I was going to buy him. Too. I was going to buy him that mug. 
I want to keep that for shipping. I These mean, are travel. out of stock everywhere. I gotta have a little bit of... You gotta have a little eggnog. Oh, we didn't buy any eggnog. Oh, cool! It's for Christmas vacation, you know, Chevy Chase and... What's full, Fred? Huh? Shitter's full. That's right. Shitter. <laughs> hey, I should do that. Shitter's, the shitter's uh, full and I'm gonna have some eggnog. I'm gonna go empty my uh, waste into the street. Shitter's full. What is that, Giz? Thank you, man. What is that, Giz? What is that? That's your fox? Christmas gift? To learn about my jacks, and I might go clean Harvey. Got street marks, and uh, and that's about it. And I'm taking uh, cleaning up the truck dash and stuff because it's kind of like it was a truck at one time. So we're just cleaning it up. Put the awning out because uh, um, it was uh, it needs to rinse off. So I don't know. Put it out. I'm not a big fan of the electric, I mean I like the electric awnings you hit the button but I'm just not a big fan of uh, they don't they don't sag on one side so the rain comes off and so when it's raining you can't use your awning which makes because they're flat and they weigh down and you can bend it, it but it doesn't make any sense why would you make an awning that doesn't sag on one side the manual one I could sag it on one side it'd be fine so I don't know oh guys I got a, a, a directional antenna shooting to the office with a uh, amplifier and don't worry, I tuned it down so I don't go jump over everybody. Um, but it's a tripod so we can beam it wherever we want. It's pretty cool. And it comes into my new setup, which I probably didn't show you guys yet. That I put this board in here. And the amplifier's all mounted, the router's mounted. And I want to mount all this stuff up here. It'd be pretty cool. So it's my own little cubby hole. I just got to get something to mount the computer so it doesn't go anywhere and a battery back up in my bomb guard. The monitor I'm going to take off and put away. I'm going to put the monitor in here. Bam, every time I park. So, that's about it. Got the AC on, it's actually warm. A air conditioning on, we're in the mountains and it's warm. It's kind of weird. But that's about it. Um, I'm just tightening up stuff. I have my friend, um, Andy and Michelle, friends, coming to uh, drive this truck to where we're, where we're going in our next destination because I'm gonna drive the truck, but he's gonna be right there and guiding me when to rev, when to, when to uh, shift. If I get into a jam, I'll put him in the driver's seat. And it sounds wimpy, but I think it's very smart. I'm gonna pay him a little bit, but it's not much. It's just for, just to pay a little bit of his time. But we hang out, we laugh the whole time anyway, so he's pretty cool, but I don't expect it for free. That's not, I don't expect it for free. Um, but I know to, I don't need my CDL, it's not a requirement. As much as you say it's a requirement, it's not. I have the printouts in the truck with my registration or whatever, then you don't need your CDL. You do not need it. It's for private use. It's registered as an RV, not commercially. And it's under 27,000 pounds. So it's a single axle, so I'm okay. But even a double axle, I think it'd be okay too. But, um, so that's what I'm going to do. So on the way to, uh, I'm not going to tell you where, I can't really tell you exactly where we're going because, um, I just for different reasons, but but I can tell you that we're going to North Carolina. So that's it, and uh, that's it, guys. Oh, by the way, someone's gonna uh, shoot a cannon cannon off in the lake here. We're gonna shoot a cannon as long as the um, as long as the main guy is up with it, um, and it's not gonna be a big bang. I'm gonna put it on camera. It'll be cool. It's gonna be cool. That's about it, guys. I gotta tidy stuff up. I got stuff to do, and we're gonna eat a Christmas uh, lunch here, and. Uh, hmm about it I am gonna clean Harvey off this you know get the black lines when I leave I want it to sell so if anybody wants to buy Harvey it's still for sale um, I knocked the price down from 26,000 to 21,500 buy Harvey Harvey's a good RV new tires new all remodeled it runs starts like a top runs perfect buy Harvey I'm basically giving it away at this point almost I'm not giving it away but it's a figure of speech I'm literally giving it away pretty cheap so if you want to buy Harvey Jump on a bag bandwagon now and call me, call my number, and um, or text me in Facebook or YouTube, private message me, and uh, I can sell you Harvey. And Harvey's are old Class A RV. If no one knows, it's a 35 foot, uh, 35 foot foot Georgetown, and we remodeled the whole thing. Brand new tires, brand new hot water heater. I mean, rebuilt hot water heater. Um, you name it, 
full synthetic from the rear end to the front end, everything. Generator, uh, transmission, everything's been full synthetic, so oil. So that's expensive. Have that done, guys, and see how much that costs. So um, all that stuff's expensive. You don't buy vehicles. Usually you buy them, they're junk. They don't have anything in it, and, you know. This is all set. You drive, you get and drive this thing to Florida from here, Georgia, no problem. So that's about it, and uh, I'll talk to you in a bit, guys. Here we go, Heather, Ross and Heather. Home is wherever we roam. It's got a picture of Class A on it. That's cool, huh? Thank you. I think uh, Andy and Michelle got us that, I think. Thank you. Love it. I love it. I love the color, too. It's the color of our RV. Well, she's making dinner, and uh, I'm going to let you go, guys, because i got to edit this video, and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Um, you know, keep watching, look forward to the big trip, and we're actually going to move this lead sled with the tank. So, and the official name of the um, truck is going to be a little too small. So when it's pulling this, you're going to see a little too small on the side, on the top. Get it? A little too small, the truck's a little too small, but it's too big. I was going to name it Overkill, but I figured a little too small would be better. Lakers and churros, you know you'll find us funny.